Now we will discuss some electrochemical cells which we are using in day to day life. The first kind is primary cell. It is also known as dry cell and it is also called Leclanche cell because it was discovered by Leclanche. This is dry cell or we call it pencil cell. We are using in our day to day life this one where this container is of zinc which is anode this rod in the middle is a graphite rod near the graphite rod you will find first layer which is of manganese dioxide and carbon graphite and then there will be a paste of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride so little amount of water is added so the Paste should remain little moist and we have to cover it with the help of this zinc container. So this is the construction of the dry cell in which anode is zinc and graphite rod is cathode. If you connect this two then the electricity uh, current will pass through and oxidation reduction takes place inside the cell. So due to redox reaction you get electricity. This is a function of dry cell. I can show you dry cell. This is dry cell. Well, if you divide it or if you cut it, you will get these two compartments of dry cell. And in this compartment, you can see there will be a rod of graphite. And around graphite, you will find black powder, which is of MnO2 and graphite. Well, it is completely dry, so you don't find paste inside this. But if you cut the fresh uh, dry cell, then you can see this paste also. But be careful when you are cutting, because it is metal which you are cutting. So we have to be very careful. Okay? This was cut by machine. 